Hey all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away, and we now got part 18 of Hashet Partworks Build the Spitfire Mark 1A. <laughs> Now, as you can see from my shirt, I was fully expecting to do a Terminator today, but uh, wasn't in my news agent, so we're doing the Spitfire, which is all good because we're continuing with the cockpit wall like we did last time. Uh, let me show you what we're going to do. So once again, let me just show you the cockpit walls that we've completed. This was the first side. This was the uh, starboard side, I believe, that we've done there. Uh, and then this is the one that we worked on in the last stage. And this is the one we're going to be continuing working on with details on here. And we're also going to be putting a bulkhead on the back here. So let me show you the magazine. As you can see, these are all the parts in the magazine. In fact, this is what they look like in the... Uh, uh, case uh, it is worth noticing that this sprue detail all of these here isn't used in this part so we need to keep that safe uh, but we have got a lot of sprues to break off so we're going to need our sprue cutters and we are gluing a lot of details again which means we need glue now I can't get hold of my regular glue so I've got the next best thing this is the glue it range that I use from the range and um, and as you can see rather than being in that uh, metal tube it's just in a normal tube now but this glue doesn't seem to go white on plastic surfaces that's why I use that uh, but the range is basically a load of department stores or uh, hardware stores in the UK. Um, but I swear by this, if I'm not using my Tamiya cement, this is the uh, stuff that I use. Uh, but as you can see, we're putting some details together here. Then we're going to be uh, doing the bulkhead frame here and putting the details onto there. Once they're all on, we're going to add one of the details to that blank section there. Once again, they're not actually telling us what these details are. So I do rely on you peeps out there to actually tell me what these canisters and stuff are for. And as you can see, we attach all of that together. And at the end, we're going to have this bulkhead frame looking like that. And we're going to have this spare sprue waiting for the next issue. And as you can see in the next issue, getting excited now, we've got the cockpit controls, which are going to light up from behind. It's going to look pretty impressive, this is. In fact, I've seen some of yours. I know some of you are up to issue 22 at the moment, and they look pretty amazing, I have to say. Uh, but... But this is gonna be fun. I haven't done one of these for ages, as in one week. But uh, without further ado, let's get cracking. Now it is worth noticing from these packs, all of these items here on the bulkheads are metal. And uh, if you've watched John Build's Iconic Military Models channel, um, it might be worth when we're actually screwing some of these in to check if we need to uh, sand off any of the paint. Uh, I don't think we will, but uh, there you go. We've got really tiny details in this as well. Look, one of these the black grommet sections there or something but we'll see where that goes uh, but what i'm interested in here is this section because we don't actually use this and this is the section i've got to keep safe so i'm going to put that to one side so the first details we're going to need to cut off are the ones that are here on the top and these two round ones at the bottom there we need two of them uh, the instructions only show us how to do one of them but uh, once again got me trusty sprue cutters here which are available in my amazon store these give a nice clean cut when we take these off the sprues. That's two there. And then we've got these details. Oh, almost dropped one there. <laughs> Put that back on there. God, they roll away quick, don't they? <laughs> two this side here. That's one. And two. Put them off as well. And then what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be gluing these into place by putting the lug on this side into the hole on that side. Now, I'm just gonna put them in gently. I don't think it matters at all what way they go in, but we are gonna need to glue these together. So I'll bring over my trusty glue. First time I've ever used this glue, I'm gonna put it in this little spot here. That's enough. Someone did recommend, if I wanna stop it drying quickly, is to actually store it upside down, which I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. If you give me these ideas and techniques, I will try them out, I promise. Uh, and all we're gonna do Put some glue just on my pin vise here just with a normal dressmaker's pin inside there put it in there that just ensures that i'm not caking it in glue when i don't need to and then we'll put one of these bits in like that so then that looks just like that now we're going to repeat for the other one nice and quick so again a bit of glue in there just around the inside and then put this piece in just like that and now we have two. Now the next detail we need is this rectangular detail just down here. So we'll get that cut off as well. One, two. And then the details that we've actually just done are gonna go on the top here. So at the bottom, you see you've got lugs. They're gonna be facing down. Now they're gonna go in with the flat edge here that we just put in. They're gonna be going towards this edge 
with all the details on here. So when we put this in, it's going to sit kind of like that. You can see that. So what I'm going to do is just put some glue just into those little holes there and we'll get this secured in. One and two. Put the first one in here. It's the first one in and we'll put the second one in just the other side here. And there's the second one in. So now that detail looks just like that. Why was I whispering then? I've got absolutely no idea. Okay, so we're gonna be taking the metal frame now, which looks just like that on both sides. And this is the side that we're gonna be working on because the detail that we just made with those two lugs are just gonna go into this section here. And basically, if you can see these details on the side, that's gonna go on this side of the frame. So when we put it in, it's gonna sit just like that. So once again, we're gonna glue this into place. So I'll put some glue just around the edges here because it is actually holding on a little bit in here with the lugs as well. Put this onto place just like that. And then we're gonna be turning it over because we've got a detail to put just over this top section here as well. Now, if you remember from uh, issue 16, we had a detail sprue like this with some sprues left on it. We need to bring that back on now because we need this trapezium shaped piece here. So I'll cut that off. One. So that still leaves one detail left on there at the moment. And this is gonna be going on the other side to the detail we just put on. As you can see, we've got quite a few holes in there. They're gonna match the lugs that you can see. One, two, three, four. So it's probably best to actually just put a little bit of glue just into these holes. So one, two, three, and four turn it around and we'll get that pushed onto that section there and there we go push that on and then that should look like that that side there's the side and there's the front the next thing we need is detail f which is this one here and we also need this black detail which came separate on its own in this uh, pack so we'll get detail f sliced off here there we go. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting this detail with the lug at the bottom. We're gonna glue it into place just there. Let's put some glue just into the center. I don't think there's any harm putting it around there as well. So we can drop this in, just like that. And then on top of it, we've got the other plastic detail, which is just gonna go around this lug right here. And that will go just like that. So there we go, that looks like that. Now we're gonna be putting a strut in looking like that and keeping it this way with the lug at the top, that's just gonna go into this hole just here. So I'm gonna put some glue on there. This can only go in one way because it sort of follows the bend of this frame. And then we'll put that in just like that. So that fits in. Then we can put that piece just to one side because we need this piece again from issue 16 it's the last thing left on the sprue now so we can cut that one off one and two and we also need just this black circular piece just from the sprue we've been working on one and two now quite simply on the back there you can see we've got two holes they're just gonna go over the lugs that you can see on this side of this piece here. So I'll put some glue just into these two holes. One and two. A little bit fiddly this issue, I have to say with these details. Put the lugs in there just like that. And there we go, that's that tiny detail done there. And then we take this bulkhead again, turn it upside down, and as you can see, we've got a little lug just on this side here. Put some glue on that, all the way around. And then this section is gonna be what we've done here, going on this way round, with this L-shaped facing in this direction. And it's gonna go just over this lug, right there, like that. We've got two more parts on this sprue now, two more black details. So we're gonna get these cut off and these are gonna be joined together. 
So here's the first one, and here's the second one. One, two. And as you can see, that's now empty, so we can throw that away. I'll put some glue just on the side here with the holes in. One, two, and then we'll put this together. So when it is together, once I've pushed it in, it should look just like that. And that from that side. Now, if you can see here, we've got two holes just at the top here. If we bring over the cockpit we worked on last time, you can see we've got the lugs that are gonna go into it just on this detail here. Now, when these go in, the pointed part of this is gonna be pointing to this edge here of the uh, cockpit. So when the cockpit wall. So when it goes in, it's gonna look just like that. So what we'll do, again, I'm just gonna put some glue just inside these holes here. Using quite a bit of glue in this issue as well, aren't we? <laughs> One and two. Hold it in place again, and we'll put that on the wall here. Like that, hold it for a second, and then that will stay in. So now that wall is pretty much completed. And now we're gonna be taking the bulwark frame. I've been told it's bulwark, bulwark. Not bullock, bulwark in the last one. See, I ask you these questions, don't I? So when we actually put this on, we don't actually put it on the end. It actually just goes on the inside like that. And it sort of fits in its own section there. So as you can see, that's how it goes. This actually goes on the inside of this bracket here. So then when we do put the screw in here, which I'm about to do now, the actual thread is on the bulwark that we've just put on. So I put one end. As you can see, that's now held in place quite strong. So we put the second one in place now. Just like this, I'll go into the bottom one there. Make that nice and tight. And there we go. That's that section on like that, with the screws through there. And the last thing I have to do is put this detail in here, which has fallen out because, uh, you know, I'm sure you have these problems too. That everything seems to be going swimmingly and then obviously one of the details fall out but i'm sure you people love my mistakes uh, but there we go so we've got this looking just like that we've got uh, this cockpit frame here or the bulkhead here with all the details on that's pretty much what we worked on this one and once again this was the first frame that we worked on before now i'm guessing eventually uh, that this frame is going to go on kind of like this on that side and that'll give you some sort of idea of how the cockpit is going to look. Not quite sure about this section yet. Uh, we'll figure that one out in a second. But uh, yeah, pretty impressive. Now I must remember that we've got a sprue piece, in fact, this one, that we're not using. So I've got to keep that safe. When I got to the bit where we had to do the trapezium, I thought, please let me have put the uh, sprue on the shelf over there so that uh, I haven't lost it. And thank God uh, it was there because I've got a habit of losing pieces and then I end up having to buy the whole magazine again. Uh, but anyway, that's the Spitfire for this week. I really do hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.